episode of As the Beer Swirls here on FLX Beer Reviews. My name is Dan. That's Mike. Mike, yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, got this thing right here. Mike, what are we drinking? Three. Oh, it's the magic number. Yeah, it is. It's a magic number. We're drinking a beer from Little Liberum. With Omnipolo Root Plus Branch times Fidens times Green Cheek times Wild Works times Vitamin C, spelled S E A. It's so clever. <laughs> uh, this is our three times three Triple India Pale Ale, coming in at 10% ABV, canned on what looks like 12 11 2023. Good old EQ juice, baby. Dan, that label looks so familiar. It does. Has it anyone does. else made a label looking like that? All those breweries. All those breweries. Plus other heads. That's insane. Uh, I'll tell you what this label doesn't have, aside from a QR code and some other stuff, is a lot of information. Tell you what, you pour it up, I'll read the information. He has information. Outstanding. Uh, this beer, by the way, comes Where courtesy of the good doctor over over in uh, the Witness Protection Program in Delaware, Ridgeopolis. He sent this over. We had sure uh, swapped some beers, and he loves his EQ juice. So I don't remember doing we're it. We're all about it. <laughs> I was uh, so what's interesting about this is three this times three. Free. Uh, Omnipolo started this up, and Yay. what they do every year is they pick three new friends, and they get together and brew the beer. That's why there's. Do you think they stay beers. friends after that, or is it just like a one night stand, and they're just like? Oh, ah, I think they won't be friends. brewing with them again. Um, I feel like Omnipolo. They're just like, they're the bad boys. They're just rolling and doing whatever, and they're out. So last year, um, they did a collab version with Other Half and some other breweries. And each brewery brews their own version of it, right, with the same uh, grain bill and all that. Uh, so I had the Other Half one last year. Okay. That was pretty goddamn good. Uh, but this one, this year, is uh, they use a 40% adjunct grain bill. For the first time in a brand new hot bill featuring Idaho 7, Citra, Citra Lupo Max, Rowaka, and Mootawika. Oh, Mootawika. there it is. Mootawika. There it is. That's why we're Mootawika. drinking this beer. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, let's get into it. That's a... Dude, the that brewery a list, though? <laughs> Seriously. Like a lot more words. Root and Branch, Fidens, Green Cheek, Wildberg, Yeah, Vitamin that's C. a <laughs> who's who of breweries on there. If nothing. anything, they can save us from potential... Disaster. Disaster. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is a super thick. It looks like an EQ juice. Sure. Well, I haven't had EQ in forever. Look at that. That is a... It looks heavy. Like, this looks like a weighty beer. Like, all the breweries you can see just hanging around. In that there. looks like orange juice, and you just piled some Cool Whip on it. Yeah. It's, it's so a hearty body on this thing. Yeah, this looks thing. Wise. It looks like it's going to be, like, just nectar. Yes. Yeah. Like, there should be pulp in this beer right now. I might have to drink it with a spoon. I gotta go back to see if... I'm pretty sure Ridge reviewed this beer. Okay. But he's got backlog, so I don't know if he's came out with it yet, but... Depends on the date, right? Doesn't he... Just all his, all his beers in his fridge or... Yeah, they are date. by the date. Okay. But I gotta say, just based off the look of this, I'm sure he went nuts. We'll see. All right. We'll see if we go nuts. Wow. I already smelled this beer today. I don't think you have... This is... This is pronounced... It's got the EQ sun tea, sun tea thing going on. All right, so uh, each brewery, like, they have, Maybe some like, chips. I don't know, other half beers taste like other halves. Fidens taste like Fidens. Treehouses taste like Treehouses. I smell Fidens in this. Like, EQ has this kind of, like, it's like EQ juice sun tea kind of, like, okay. I will take thing with their yeast. It. Man, that head just swirls up so creamy. Oh, yeah. Like, that's Hot Butcher style looking. Is Hot Butcher in there, too? I don't know. <laughs> they may they, be. They, they dude, may the, be. the amount of Secret breweries brewery. on this, they have so much to live up to. There's a there's a slight dank, oniony, vegetal nature to it. All right. You want to dive in? and I suppose so. Sure. Why not? Cheers. Thanks, Bear. <laughs> Thanks, Big Al. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> Thanks. Mikey Bowl. There you go. <sighs> so 
So Omnipolo. Boy, they're shining. That's a good beverage. That's pretty tasty. There is this uh lots of lots of lemon. I'm getting like pineapple crush. Yeah, like pineapple crush, wow. but I'm getting lemon. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, but I'm getting lemon. <laughs> Dismissive, like, oh yeah, but I'm getting it's lemon. It's not dismissive. I'm just adding to your, uh, you know, your poll there. All right, what hops did you say were in this? Do you remember? Mo to Tuweka. Idaho Seven. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, Ruwaka, Did you say? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ruwaka. and uh, Citra and Citra Lupo Max. Okay. Wow. They okay. say. They say. Mm -hmm. They say. Bright aromas of mixed tropical fruit. I agree. Lime candy. Apricot custard lead to creamy flavors of citrus wedges, mango juice, lemon lime spritz, earthy grass, and papaya custard. <clears throat> it's very juicy. It is a juicy beer. And on top of that, do you get that tea thing going on? No, 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 I don't think so. It, it's for me, it's all juice um, with a, a bit of vegetal dryness uh, on the front. that kind of wafts through leafy green, um, the orange uh, gummy candies like that bag of just delicious, delicious sugar coated gummy candy. I got to be honest, Ridge. I haven't had an EQ beer in a while that. It suited me like this. Nor have I. I haven't had an EQ beer. Actually, the last EQ time, beer but... I had that suited me really well and mm -hmm. it wasn't oxidized. There was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> was you maybe going back. <laughs> was uh, no, actually, it was recently. Oh, okay. it was their Seven Is Up. Okay, it's their All Motoy. Oh dear God, really? So I to call it Seven Up. That's yeah, seven dude, is up. that's pretty great. Okay, it was freaking right. delicious. I got from AJ's. I was like, it was freaking delicious. Did the label look like Seven yeah. Up? I remember that. They had it last time we went, but I was like, yeah, it's got some mage on it. I think I walked right by because I was like, yeah, it's EQ. <laughs> it's a thing. That it's going to be. They had a mean streak of EQ where it was just oxidized. And I'm not the only one. It don't matter the where it came from. Dude, when it goes to AJ's, AJ's is an entire fridge. Yeah, the whole store's a fridge. So and they, you they can't are, tell me, oh, it's They know what they're shelf. doing. Yeah. They're pulling it right from the truck, right into the, yeah. the coolness of the fridge. Um, This is delicious. Body? Uh, okay, yeah. Let's talk about the body. Um, for a ten percent full triple, feeling full. good about the body. Oh, I'm one hundred percent. How about the mouthfeel? Mouthfeel, syrupy, oily, just saturated hop and just tropical like things going on like to a company, just creamy, perfect. It's delicate enough, yeah. but heavy enough. I love the creamy mouthfeel. There is, I mean. I would believe you if you said there's no carbonation, and I would believe you if you said there's just a shadow of carbonation in there, just to break it up. I don't for a triple. I don't think it's overly candy sweet at all. Um, even though I said it, it has a lot of those orange gummy candies in there. I could, I think I could drink the whole can of this and be. But that's crazy because you're fine. not a triple guy. I know, and it, like this is not an overly sweet beer for all there, that going on in there. There is a, there is a. A pronounced bitterness that really backs it up. I agree. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a very well balanced beer. This beer is a banger. This you heard it here first in the book. Wait, we didn't write it. It doesn't matter. The whole beer is in the books. Rawr, bitter. Um. Oh, we should drink this out of big old mugs. Ah, oh, we're idiots. We fucked up. Yeah, we fucked up. All right. Um. We have saving grace. There is some more ridge beers. In case. Um, They're down in the bunk. What do you rate it, Mike? Oof. Um, I am going to give this... I'll tell you what. Man, I'll give it a 4.39. really enjoying it. I think it's a well-made beer. Very well-made. Omnipolo is crushing it these days. Mm. I don't think vitamin C when, did shit. When EQ hits, they hit. <laughs> when EQ <laughs> produces a beer and it hits, it hits. 
And it's hit this man right here. That's where his heart would be if he wasn't such a cold, heartless bastard. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me good. Ridge, you did well. I'll give it a 4.75. The skies have opened! The lords of beer have shown down upon this this pale white ghostly man who is demons and devils on death's door! All I do all day is just thank the Lord above for one more day with him, but EQ! You may have given me three times three more days with him, and for that, I thank you. EQ, you have exercised all the demons! EQ back, baby! That oxidation is a thing of the past! Pass. That's the only thing that's dead I'm here. I'm going to oxidation. the store, I buy all the EQ all juice. All the EQ juice. Right Put there. it in him. Put it in him. <sighs> so yeah, all the links down below. Uh, hit us up. There. Ridge, we're going to link you. We're going to at you. Link's a thing of the past. I do the YouTube. descriptions, so... We'll see. You should at you should at Bigfoot sightings. Big <laughs> all, all I'm adding is Bigfoot and Omnipolo. They're the only ones getting anything out of any of this. Uh, thanks, Ridge, for sending Dan beers so I can drink them. Piece of shit. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.